welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and today I'm bringing you my Romanceopoly game that I've been playing all year. This is a year year long readathon for those who are new to my channel and I will leave the host down below for those to check out the announcement and the playlist and all of that so that if you're interested you can jump on in and uh, join us and all the good things. So let's get into the update of how I did for the month of June and then we'll get to our rolls for July. I cannot believe July is here. That means I only have a month before work starts back up again. But anyways, let's get to what I was supposed to read and did I read it? That's the question. All right, so I had three rolls. I do three rolls every month for this particular game because I combined this game with my deck of TBR. So that combines together and then any other type of read-alongs, Betty reads and everything else to create what I should be reading for the month. So I only, I limit it to three rolls to hopefully get them done. Okay, so how did I do this month? That is still the question to be answered. So I had two physical books, these two books, and then one ebook. So I will pop a picture one side of the screen or the other of my ebook and then we'll talk about them. Heart of Venom, this book I read. And I will do a end of the wrap up video to let more thoughts on it so we keep this video a little bit shortened because they have been getting really long. For So this Heart of Venom, this was for the Space Fate Folly. So Fated Folly, this was to read a paranormal with a bit of magic. If you followed my channel, you know I absolutely love this series, The Elemental Assassins. It has magic in it. So it fit. It fits that prompt. I knocked that one out of the park. Check one. So I did that one. Then the next one was for a summer read. I did attempt it. I read the prologue. I think it's what it was. Yeah, the prologue for this was summer and it was to read a book with water, uh, yellow, white, water, or beach on the cover. So I was super, if you saw the, and I will put up in the cards last month's Romanceopoly. I was super excited for this book. I read the prologue and it's kind of like the try a chapter and I didn't really mesh with the author's writing style so I kind of DNF, DNF'd it. Just wasn't, just wasn't for me and this was by Letty Harper so I'm going to go on and DNF it and move it on to someone else who ha who will give it more love than I am for me. Um, so it's not just collecting dust on my bookshelves. That's okay. So Summer will go back into my deck to be pulled again at a later time and hopefully I will do better on that one. And then the last book, this is my ebook, which was Campus Corner. Um, and this was to read a book set in a university or university campus and I chose Off Limits. I did read this one. That one was awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was a cute romance. It was a best friends, brothers, little sister romance. It was cute. It was a sports romance and I don't read a ton of those but that one was actually very good. It was by Jerrica McMillan I believe was the author's name. Would highly recommend and I do want to continue that series. So that's kind of a mini wrap up on that but I'll try to go into a little bit more details later in a wrap up. Let's get into the rolls. So we'll set up the board and get to our three rolls. So let's get to roll number one. All right you guys I got my 12 sided die and we're going to go for roll number one. So I have gone back in and I've put the summer back. Uh, I've taken the X off of summer. I've marked that so it's back open. And then we're starting back over here on where we left off on campus corner. So now we're going to get to roll number one. What are we going to get? So we are starting with a six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and this is Star Harbor. So Star Harbor. All right, so as you can see, I ended up at Star Harbor. So this is the card. So Star Harbor, it says, read a science fiction where one of the main characters is an alien. So I will go on my KU subscription and see if I can find a sci-fi romance that deals with maybe an alien romance. See if I can find one for that that will fit this criteria. So I'll be back in a moment and share with you what I have found. I'm going to show you the cover and then I will read you what this one will be about. So this is, if it will translate, so this is Zol, I believe is how it is pronounced. It's a sci-fi sci alien abduction romance by A.G. Wild. So let's see what this one will be about. It's a first out of a series. Athena wakes up in hell. Well, it's an alien slave ship, but it might as well be hell because she only has three choices. Mate, become a sex slave, or be killed. Great options. Um, desperate for freedom, a chance for survival is presented in a handsome rogue alien called Zul. But Zul is caught up in problems of his own and a mission he cannot afford to let fail. One that could uh, be easily compromised if he dared open his heart. That doesn't leave her with many options and it doesn't help that uh, she finds him utterly frustrating and strong, hot, and ir irresistible. She shouldn't really be thinking about him like that, should she? Azul is a it's a standalone, standalone book. So it's part of a series, but it's also standalone. So it's the first book out of the series. So that sounds like it's going to be it's be kind of my first alien esque romance. So I'll give it a try and see what I think about it. And then it came as a kind of a recommendation, also in a group that I'm in, a Discord group. So we'll see. What I think about Zul, and actually kind of ironic that it came up in Romanceopoly as one of my prompts. So I'll definitely have to let you guys know because I've really not delved into the alien romance side of things. So let's get to roll number two. So this is roll number two. Kind of rolled off screen, but that was a five, I think. So five from Star Harbor. Okay, so we already landed on library, so we need to roll again. So this is why I mark them off. Seven. So this time we have a seven. Where is that going to land us? Roll two is going, <clears throat> excuse me, roll two is going to be problematic because I've already landed on this space as well, which was Passion Place. So we're going to continue to roll until we land on a place that I haven't. So this is our third attempt. All right, so this is an actual a nine. So it's, there we go, a nine. All right. See where that's going to put us. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Up. Oh, we've landed on this place, which is a uh, fa uh, faded folly, which is what we landed on last time. So let's roll again. We're going to eventually get roll two done, maybe. <laughs> three spaces. So we got a three this time. And that might actually put us in a place we haven't landed on yet. <laughs> so from Faded Folly, one, two, three. All right. This one we've not landed on. So we finally got roll two completed. This is uh, E Ever After Street. So ever after street is where we eventually ended with roll number two. <laughs> All right. So after that exciting roll, it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. 
but we eventually landed on Ever After Street. So this says read a sapphic romance. So I'll also be going on to my KU subscription to find a sapphic romance. So a lot of these will, if I don't have them on my physical shelf, then I'll be using my uh, Kindle Unlimited service for that. All right, so the book that I found for a sapphic romance, this is Oh My Stars. It's kind of a dark cover. Again, for any of these, I will, um, again, pop a picture up if they don't translate. By S.J. Hart is the author's name. It says, can you ever find something uh, you never knew you lost? Uh, you can outgrow a place, it's common knowledge. You can even outgrow people. Penny Rosenberg has spent her entire life in a small town of Verity Vale, and it still fits her perfectly. She lives her life in certainty. She goes to work every day with her sisters at their family deli. She bakes nights, uh, drinks ciders, and playing chess under the moonlight with her elderly, elderly neighbor and best friend. Everything is idyllic but life can turn on a dime and when it does she wonders if things will ever feel the same. Liv Henderson thought she had it all. Beautiful girlfriend, a luxury seventh floor apartment with a city view, and job she always wanted. But then she is handed something she never asked for, the deed to a place she barely remembers. Suddenly nothing is what it seems and Liv starts to question everything she's ever known, including herself. As Liv's life starts to unfurl around her, she soon comes to learn that in order to find ourselves, we have to be ourselves. Sometimes all you have to do is look up. All right, so let's get to roll number three. So let's see if our third and final roll will be is as exciting as roll two was. <laughs> roll number three. Woohoo! Here we go. And we have an eight. Here we go. Get the glare off. Eight. Eight from Ever After. All right. So I have not gotten to this one. Oop, bumped it. Journey's End. That was short and sweet. So Journey's End is where we are ending our rolls on. Journey's End. So as you saw for roll number three, we ended up on Journey's End and that was a much quicker roll than roll two. Less exciting, but we got there. We finally got there. So this is Journey's End. Okay. So it says, read a fantasy with a cover that uh, takes your breath away. So I'm assuming like a beautiful cover type of fantasy. Fantasy, so it could be any type of fantasy, but I want to keep this romance inspired. I know what time frame I have, and I know I got some chunky books going on my TBR, so I'm going to choose Wildlands. This is book two from the Savage Land series by Stacy Marie Brown. This is a series I started a year or two ago and haven't continued, and I have all four books, so I need to read it. I love the first book, and I need to continue. There's just so many other books that came in to my life that it kind of got bumped, so I will continue on in the series. So this is what book three is about. So Brexley um, has endured starvation and survived torture, and even Warwick Farkas the brutal legend who still haunts her like a ghost, spilling into her thoughts and life. His betrayal made her a prisoner of Kilian, the gorgeous fae lord of Budapest. There her life takes another unforeseen twist, something that will change the fragile alliance between the humans and the fae, and Brexley finds herself in the middle. <laughs> okay. So yes, so I really did enjoy the first one. Uh, I know I will enjoy the second one. I just need to continue on with the series. So that will be book number two. Three, uh, not two, but three. <laughs> all right. All right, you guys, those are all of the books that I will be reading for Romanceopoly. My three choices. Again, I will be doing my deck of TBR to get my five other books 
and plus my other books for my readathon that I'll be involved in for the middle grades journeyathon, and I'll have that um, listed down in the description below. Um, if you've been on my channel, you already know about it because that came up a week or so ago. So I have those four books in the first two weeks of July to read. So. And then I'll have these books. So, yes, I'm super excited. Kind of sad that July is coming. But, yes, all good things must come to an end, unfortunately. But, anyways, so leave me down below which of these books. Have you read any of them? Um, are you interested in picking any of these up? Let me know down below. I would love to chat with you about all these books or what you're currently reading or thinking about reading for the month of July. And until my next video, you guys, happy reading as always. Bye. Thank you.